Alright guys, in today's video I have my uh, Droid Razor Max, or Droid Razor, whichever, really doesn't make any difference. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install a new custom ROM, which is called Black Widow. And you'll see why once I get it installed. But um, let's kind of get into this install. Uh, first things first, you are going to be wanting to run the newest OTA, which is Jelly Bean 4.1.2. And that's the dot sixteen version, not the dot eight version. So that is the actual OTA update that just got pushed recently here. So make sure that is what you're running. Make sure you have root permission with either oops, if I can get it out of here. Uh super user or super sue. Let's see if I can find show you my uh super user. Oh, actually, yeah, that's funny. Super user is actually built into this, so there's not an application on the ROM that I'm running right now. But you want to either have Super User or Super Sue, and you want to have SafeStrap 3.11 installed or higher. Right now, that is the highest, but in the future. Um, so, you got those two prerequisites. So, we're actually just going to power the device off, do a reboot, and we're going to boot into SafeStrap, like I said, 3.11. If you don't have root permission or you don't have super uh, safe strap, I should say, installed, um, I have videos on that. Please check out my YouTube channel. You can subscribe right here if you want to do that also. Um, or you can check out Root Junkie above my thumb right here. A lot of good uh, information on that site with a lot of videos on the Droid X, or I'm sorry, the Droid Razor or the Razor Max. So we're going to hit the menu button right there when that comes up, which is going to get us into safe strap. <clears throat> so now that safe strap is booted up uh, first thing you're going to want to do in here if you're running on a stock system is you're just going to want to go to backups and then swipe across and go ahead and make a backup um, of the stock system or if you're writing over a ROM slot you'd want to make a backup just before you start the flash process so we're going to hit boot, anim uh, boot menu right there and I'm actually going to use my ROM slot 2. So I'm going to hit that and I'm going to activate it. And I'm going to hit it again. I'm going to set the nickname and we're going to call it, uh, we're just going to call it BW for Black Widow. So B, W, go. And then you can hit back. And now it's BW and you're on ROM slot 2. You can see in the top it is highlighted. So you can go back again. And now anything you do on your phone will be done to ROM slot 2. Um, so before you get in here and you do really any of this safe strip stuff, you're going to want to make sure you have the ROM already downloaded and on your external SD card. You can do it on the internal, but recommend the external just so you have more space for ROM slots on your phone. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go, now that we're on ROM slot 2, we've got our name set, it's activated. We're going to go ahead and go to wipes and just wipe cache, Delvic, back, factory reset, Slide it across, back, system, slide it across, back, go back again, go to installs, and now I gotta find the ROM. Um, right here it is. It's actually BW <coughs> and it's dot nine eight dot seven two dot sixteen. And the dot sixteen is like I say the OTA version of the Jelly Bean update for the XT912. So we're just gonna select that file. Make sure it's the file that is listed here so you didn't fat finger something on the last screen, and it is. And then just swipe across, and it is going to install. Install is probably going to take you anywhere from two to five minutes. Um, this does include some Google applications or your, um, your G apps. Uh, so <clears throat> that is in here already. And anything else you want of those, you can obviously download because the Google Play will be in the ROM and you can download anything that's not included in it already. Um, this thing is fully themed out. Very, very cool. You'll see it when it boots up. So let's just this install and I'll come back to it. Alright, so the install um, was actually qu pretty quick, about two minutes probably to do the install. I do like this right here. It just says enjoy the darkness and you're going to see why once we reboot. So you can actually reboot here from just hitting the reboot right there. Or you can go actually out of all this stuff and go to reboots and reboot system. It doesn't matter. It works the same either way. So we're going to be booting up here on ROM slot 2. That's what I activated and it should be um, Black Widow's ROM. Uh, I just want to go through the splash screen. You're going to see next, which is green because you're in the safe ROM slot. 
and then I want to see the boot animation and I'll go through some pre setup and I'll show you guys this round looks pretty cool online so I can't wait to get my hands on it and use it so let's just let this uh, go through here let's see what we got for boot animation Ooh, nice spider dark droid it's, it's basically the bionic uh, boot animation there but it's all like blacked out um, which is I think what you're gonna see pretty consistent throughout this round so um, can't wait to see this this is gonna be pretty cool uh, give this thing good 10 minutes to boot up the first time if it doesn't boot after 10 minutes you're going to, have to go back and save strap and retry the install or go back to stock ROM or, or restore your Android um, but should within 10 minutes boot up I'm gonna let this boot and we'll check it out then just so you guys can see after your install you're gonna see this preparing device uh, it says please wait so after the boot animation I should say um, so just wait be patient alright so we've uh, booted up here um, first thing I notice is you do have a battery percentage on your battery bar which is very nice I always like that on a custom round go through this activation process really quick just kinda skip through all this stuff um, really really fast shouldn't take too long here alright agree agree yeah, yeah. next alright keep going not right now not right now and here we go so as you can see everything pretty much is blacked out base basically except for this bar up here um, that's pretty much the look of this that's why it's called black widow because everything is black so let's just kind of check some of this stuff really quick uh, I'm gonna clear out some notifications here really fast agree to this this thing right quick get it out of the way check out our settings yeah, as you can tell, everything's blacked out. There is a little bit of blue left in the, the phone here. Um, pretty slick, though. I kind of like. I kind of like the look. Let's see what else we have in here already. Settings. Oh yeah, everything. All the app. Oh, there you go. You got one. Uh, one icon there that isn't blacked out. You do have your super user right here. Um, Zoomocast is included in this, which is uh, different for this deal. Uh, let's see what else we got. got your smart smart actions, uh, root browser light. You got that thing built into there for your file browser, which is pretty cool. Power toggles. I'm not sure what this is. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look through. There's a bunch of good settings in there for sure, which looks pretty cool. I'm gonna have to look through that. Um, you do have add away, which is built into this, which is nice to block out ads on all of your applications. Uh, let's see what else we got. DSP manager that's pretty sweet two different galleries it looks like for pictures and you have uh, your no frill CPU control and that is built in which just lets you overclock or see we're gonna hey remember choice forever hit allow um, just lets you change your clock speeds on here and your governors and stuff like that so that is pretty sweet already built into this device uh, let's see what we got here here's your basic widgets so nothing too exciting let's just see I don't think he's blacked these out I doubt yeah he hasn't blacked them out but everything else is blacked out if you want to change the blacked out look you can you could change your wallpaper and make it not blacked out you could change your your icons in here with through apex and do it down there and download some uh, icon packs things like that but I, I think this uh, blacked out look is is pretty cool actually uh, pretty neat uh, little look on there so there you go guys that is black widow and how to install it on your Droid Razor or Droid Razor Max. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put links in this um, in my video description, download it, and forum links, all that good stuff down below. Um, as always, please uh, check me out on uh, Twitter and Facebook or my website right up here. And I uh, hope you guys liked this little uh, install and review. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.